right, so MLB has officially had 30 games passed. They've come and gone. Mm -hmm. Most been played so far is by Boston with 36. So we got a good understanding of what's going on so far with the season. Uh, yep. A lot of shockers. A lot. Uh, we obviously expected Oakland to probably be bad. One Maybe not this bad. Uh, Kansas City's up there as well. And then you got St. Louis. St. Louis. 11 wins. Do you know that since Molina left the team? Yeah. It's well, retire, yes. Exactly, retire. It's one of the worst pitching right now. Yep. It is unreal how one player changed the whole team. You know, it's just the pitching. It's one of the worst. I think it's the the worst in the league right now. Starting um, pitcher. Um, well, it's kind out. of maybe it's right up there. So, pitching. No, St. Louis is 21. Well, bottom. The last, you know. <laughs> yeah. So oh. they have, let's see here. You got St. Louis at 21. Let me see. Where are they at then? But you Oakland A's so the last one. <laughs> yeah. Kansas City's 29. Oakland's 30. So. um, But when you look at this, I mean, St. Louis is not. I mean, they haven't necessarily been blown out. Mm -hmm. They've been close games for the most part. So going back to, you know, even last what was last Monday, uh, St. Louis was off. But okay. then they played against the Angels. First game, they lost 5-1. to one. They got they got roughed up there. Mm -hmm. Second game, they lost 6-4. to four. So that was close. And then they lost 11-7. to seven. So high offense. They're not, you know, just losing games by a bunch. They're yeah, in games. And then they faced the Tigers starting Friday where they lost 5 to 4 um then they lost 6 to 5 <laughs> and then they lost uh where are they at or they won 12 to 6 on Sunday okay yeah that well you see that the tigers swept the mets that's if if you're not in the AL East the tigers are beating you at this point it seems <laughs> like it's it's ridiculous the tigers got swept by didn't they play Tampa Bay and got swept? He got swept, yeah, I got swept. Yeah. yeah, and then they pretty much every other team that they play against is like, hey, guess what? We're beating you. I yeah. mean, at least they're winning the series. <sighs> so It's unreal how, how baseball is so unpredictable. Correct. Very unpredictable. Uh, I, mean, you, I mean, you unfortunately witnessed it the other day with unpredictability. Yeah. 6-0. Six, 6-0. Six zero. And, six zero. and the Yankees lost. And it. the A's. Was pitching that day? Oh, Garrett Cole, yeah, yeah, yeah. And ah, uh, you know, speaking of Garrett Cole, he got roughed up the last two outings. He got roughed up by Cleveland a good amount. Then he gave up two or three runs, but it was not extremely bad like yesterday. Well, he didn't allow any home runs for the past thirty games. I think. It's well, I mean, home runs is a different story. Um, but yesterday, you know, it happens. A um, pitchers will have a rough day, and that happens. For the first time on this season, uh, this season, uh, you know, Gary Cole was off yesterday. But, hey, it happens. The only thing I will complain about is Aaron Boone. Let him, you know, be struggle in, this, in the next inning and allow that. By the way, Aaron Boone made two mistakes for the past uh, games. Uh, we talked about this already, huh? Which one are you talking about? About he took out Herman. Well, yeah, that one was questionable. It was against Cleveland because I was watching the game, but... You had one out, one runner got a hit, uh, or one batter got a hit, right? And then runner on first, one out, top of the ninth. Yeah. And you pulled them. Yeah. 84 pitches or 88 pitches. 88 the, pitches. So when you have a pitcher like that, is is the top of the nine, one out? Let him, if he, if they get another hit, then you put, the, you put one of the worst reliever, Clay Holmes, right now, since the All Star. Game. And then Holmes walked two batters, and then Wandy Peralta walked two. Yeah. But Wandy Peralta cannot do anything, you know, in that moment was bases loaded and all that stuff. Yeah. He had one out. I mean, you're ideally looking for a double play ball, but he walked a batter. It's not great. No. So. Uh, and, and he might get all the excuses on the press conference, but hey. So, uh. currently, um, I mean, Tampa Bay's been hot, as hot as it gets. Yeah. Um, but then you look at this right here. I'm looking at the pitching wise. Houston's number two. Wow. Uh, Twins are number three. Cubs are four. Mariners are five. Braves are six. And that's expected with the way Spencer Strider's been playing. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Brewers are seven. Yankees are eight. Uh, yes, because really Cleveland's good. nine, and the Rangers are ten. And the Rangers just lost Jacob Degrom again. Wow. So I, I his career is just downhill from here. Yeah. So <clears throat> going into that's the pitching side of it, and only let's see one, two, three, four. Only four of those teams, pitching wise, translate over to the batting side. Mm-hmm. Tampa Bay's one. Red Sox are two. Diamondbacks are three when it comes to hitting. Rangers are four. That's one of the two. Two yeah. of them come over so far. The Rays and the Rangers. Cubs, they've come over. They're five. Phillies are six. Blue Jays are seven. Angels, nine. Braves, uh, I'm sorry. Angels, eight. Braves, nine. Cardinals, ten. Yeah. So. It's just, it's just crazy what's going on in the... Uh, uh. And, and I mean... That just goes to show a lot. The Cardinals aren't struggling on hitting. They're pitching. The pitching is, <laughs> this is They're bad. They're 21st in pitching. They have a 4.59 ERA. <laughs> and the only three, there's only two teams that are tied with them. The Marlins, who unbelievably are tied with the same record as the Mets. And what's crazy about that is the Mets have a negative 10 run differential. Where the Marlins have a negative 56 and they're still tied with the Mets. Um, and then you look at this. I mean, there's only two teams that are tied with the Cardinals for four for the four fifty nine ERA mm-hmm. right now, going into Monday's games tonight. It's unreal. You have the Tigers, who they just lost two out of three to, and then the Marlins. Hey, do you see the Red Sox? What are they doing? I have not. They been have won much. eight games in a row. Have they really? Um, you know, I I don't know if they lost yesterday, but they were they're doing a good job. No, they lost yesterday. They lost yesterday against yeah. the Phillies. Okay. Um, but so far they're doing a good job. Um, they should be in the last place, but the one I predict the Yankees win the, the L East, that's not going to happen. I, I don't see it. I'm sorry to say this early right now. I mean, you're only what? How many games in? 35, but you yeah. minus 100. It, things change. I mean, you want to talk about unbelievable outcomes look at what the braves did yeah 23 27 last year and yeah then, and then they came back and won the division won, yeah yeah so don't count a team out yet well the injuries the yankees have every team has injuries well this though. is dram- dramatically this is one of the worst since 2019 i think i mean so okay let me put this into perspective for you as a cleveland fan three of our starting pitchers yeah McKinney's we have three rookies up right now they're dealing they're winning games. They're doing what they need to do. Well, the offense need to get better. And, and I agree with that. They but need I'm, to get better. But that's what I'm trying to say is we've been dealing with injuries just as much as you guys have. It, it It's not maybe as we're not losing our superstar, thank God. You guys lost Aaron Judge for a couple games. Giancarlo. But he, he, he doesn't do much anyhow. He doesn't do much anyhow. It's uh. he. I mean, he'll, he'll have a couple good games here and there. He's, he's probably a... I think the Yankees came in the wild card. Wild card. I That's think. what you're aiming for at this point. We'll see what happens. We'll see because the Orioles are very hot. They are doing a good job, and I'm, you know, I'm happy for them. And we're gonna get to that in a minute because we're gonna try a new segment here in a few minutes. Uh once we hit a, a certain point. But <clears throat> uh, so standing wise, I mean, the Mariners were in last place last time we did the standing update. They're tied with Houston for three and four. 17 and 17. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's it's getting interesting in that division. Angels are 19 and 16, and Rangers are 20 and 13. Mm. Rangers have a plus 85 run differential. And the offense is so dangerous. Houston's in fourth with a plus 20. And then the Angels Mariners are plus 12 and plus 11. So, the West, the West is very interesting right now to mm-hmm. me in the American League. But... The one that's like really blowing my mind right now is the AL East. Yeah, these teams are not far off, but one team is definitely putting up a lot more runs. I mean, Rays are plus one fifteen, <laughs> Orioles are plus twenty nine, Blue Jays are plus twenty, Red Sox are plus twenty five, and the Yankees are plus three. Yeah, that that offense too, you know, because of the injuries. But there's no excuses, and ah, uh, it's just uh, unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. I'm so disappointed, but at the same time, you have, you have to uh, accept it. Sometimes it will be a good year. Sometimes it will be, you know, it's not going to be on your side. So, good luck. But 
I'm happy for the Orioles. Yeah. I'm extremely. And you know what? I'm happy for Tampa Bay as well. Um, those, you know. It's about time they got competitive. You know, Orioles, Tampa Bay. They're one of the lower salary in the league, I think. Yeah. Um, they're they're lower half. Um, Toronto is on third place. Um, and they have one of the top salary, I think, in the Red Sox. And the Yankees, of course. Um, what about the Dodgers? Can you tell me about the Dodgers, what's going on right now with them? Uh, they regained first place. They're two games over the Diamondbacks. Okay. Uh, they're uh, plus 43 run differential right now. Okay, they're getting better. Yes. Um, so we're going to jump off of that real quick, and we're going to go into this new segment that we're going to do. So the new segment that I want to try today, it's called Heating Up or Cooling Down. Okay. So in other words, I'm going to tell you based on like what's going on with this baseball and where we're at. Do you think this team will be heating up or cooling down? So, one thing I want to bring up, we're going to start in the American League East. Okay. Tampa Bay and the Orioles start a three-game series the day of this recording, which is Monday. Okay. 5-8. They play a three-game series in Baltimore. So, do you think the Orioles will surpass the Rays by the end of May? Are they going to heat up or are they going to cool down? It will heat up. So, you think that the Orioles will take over Tampa Bay? By the end of May. Because okay. of the fact is, if you're thinking about the schedule, they, Tampa Bay, whose team did they play against already? Okay. Um, that was not the greatest. And they struggle against, uh, you know, good teams like the Houston Astros. They did struggle. A lot of that's on the road. Yeah. And the Yankees, of course, a little bit. Even, you know, they won two games, like two one. They struggle a little bit if it wasn't from the blowout from the A's and all that. Mm-hmm. And also with the Red Sox, too, as well. Correct. Um, I think after they play again. Um, but um, that's the reason why I will pick the Orioles. are going to heat up. Okay, so the Orioles are heating up. So when Aaron Judge comes back for the Yankees, are the Yankees going to finally get their win streak back up? Are they going to be heating up or are they going to be cooling down? I think they're going to heat it up because of the schedule. Okay. Um, they will play against, you know, lower um, teams like the A's are starting today. Um um, well, by the way, they have a four games against Tampa Bay this week. So we'll see. But uh, I think they're going to hit it up. Yeah. Okay. I, I just, for me, it's just a matter of, I mean, there's a lot of injuries. I don't think Aaron Judge coming back is going to make it that no. much better. Well, Bader's doing a good job. Harrison Bader. Yeah, is... but again, it's not helping you guys that much. No, well, he did a little bit. but uh, Again, it's not about who. No, I know, I know, I know. It's the whole team. Collectively. Yeah, exactly. It's not one guy helping the whole entire team. So we'll see. Um, Houston seventeen and seventeen. <laughs> Out of the last ten, they're four and six, and they've lost two in a row. Are they going to be heating up or cooling down by the end of May? Um, they will cooling down until Altuve comes back. Okay, so they're going to stay bottom of the pack for now. Yeah, in your mind. Okay. And that pitch. Oh, by the way, do you hear about the injuries that Houston have? No, Garcia. Uh, I think it's Luis Garcia. Yeah. He's out. I don't think that hurts them that much. But still. You know. I mean, yeah. Every t- like, like like we talked about a little bit earlier, you know, injuries are going to happen with these teams. Yeah. It's, it's part of baseball. It's part of the game. Uh, St. Louis is 11-24. and 24. The Reds are 14-20, and 20, and the Cubs are 17-17. and 17. Do the Cardinals pass the Reds? Nope. By the end of May? Nope. Okay, so they're going to be cooling down then. All right. They struggle. They don't have no catcher. In other, in other words, they're going to stay ice cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a freezer. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, a freezer's already got frostbite all over it on the outside. All right, so you got the Dodgers, Diamondbacks. They've been kind of both being really – they've both been really good. Dodgers are 8-2 and two, eight and two in their last 10. Diamondbacks are 6-4 and four in their last 10. Diamondbacks gonna be heating up or cooling down? They gonna stay put with the Dodgers? Dodgers or are they gonna f- cool down and drop below the Padres? Maybe the Giants as well. Uh, I think they will heat it up. So you think they're gonna stay top of the pack? For yeah. Now? Okay. I, I believe so. we both put. I mean, it was a mixture. I can't remember hundred percent. I gotta go back and look, but uh, that was in our second video, I believe. Uh, or no, it was like our. It was a little bit later on. 
but you had the we had the Rockies and Diamondbacks, some type of mixture of them at the bottom of the division. Rockies are at the bottom of their division. Diamondbacks are just a surprise so far. It's a surprise Diamondbacks is, you know, with all the rookies they have and but we'll see. Uh, it just is interesting. So looking at this right now, 3 and 7 out of the last 11. They've lost 7 in a row. Are the Pirates finally jumping ship? Are they heat, are they going to heat up or are they going to cool down from here on out? They're going to cool down, unfortunately. Brewers are one game or half game behind them. Cubs are two and a half. Reds are five and a half. And Cardinals are nine. They got swept by the Rays. That's a tough team, too. Speaking of the Rays, we'll go back for a minute. The Rays are 13 and nine at home and nine and four on the road. They've played a majority of their games at home. Mm-hmm. So coming down the stretch, it'll be interesting to see how they deal with the adversity on the road because that's where they've been dealing with a lot of their issues. And they have a, one of the um, – there will be four games against New York, the Yankees, three games against the Mets, and I think three games against the Orioles. Um, you know, they will be visiting. So that's going to be a test for them too. But um, I think the Rays are going to win the East. Uh, you know, I know it's kind of early, but the way they're playing, they're doing a good job. Okay. There's no question about that. Trying to see here. Where else are we with this? Well, let's talk about the AL Central. I'm okay. We can jump to the Central. Uh, bu- 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 Let me go back. Okay, so Cleveland's negative 18 in run differential. They've won two in a row. They're 5-5. Five and five. The Twins are 19-16. and 16. Cleveland is 16-18. and 18. Cleveland's two and a half back. They just won two out of three against the Twins over the weekend. Cleveland's playing better on the road than they are at home right now. Does Cleveland pass the Twins by the end of May? Heating up or cooling now? It depends on the, you know, all the injuries. I think they will pass the Minnesota. Pass Minnesota? Yeah. Okay. So if they by get the, the end- offense together, if they get, you know, this is the problem the Indians have right now. I'm sorry, Cleveland um, Indians, I will say. I'm sorry. But um, I think they will pass Minnesota at the end of the May. Okay. If they get the offense, you know, together. And that's the one thing that they're struggling with right now. So, um, I'm going to ask you to shape this one up for me. Mm-hmm. So, we just said, you know, by the end of May. So, by the end of May, you think Cleveland will pass the Twins? Yes. Are the Twins second or third place to the Tigers? It. <sighs> Go ahead and rank that for me. Because uh, if you're looking at this right now, Twins right now as of May 8th, 19 and 16, Cleveland 16 and 18, uh, Tigers are 15 and 18, White Sox are 12 and 23, mm-hmm. and Royals are 9 and 26. How's that looking? Why don't you go ahead and rank what it's going to look like by May 30th, May 31st? I think the Tigers will be in second place. If Javier Baez continue with the offense they're doing right now and all the teams they're doing, because their pitching is doing good too. Okay. So I think they will, they will get in second place because it's a three games. I think it's three games down for Minnesota right now. Yes. Tigers. Yeah. I. Ah, so how are you ranking it? Any one uh, through five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a tie. I don't know. Because Minnesota Twins pitching is good too. He's doing a good job. I need the answer. Man, come on, man. It's a yeah, tough yeah. One. That's that's the part of this. The uh, tough one. That's part of baseball. All right, I will say this. Um, Cleveland will be in first place. Tigers will be second. Minnesota will be in third. Okay, full take. So then, White Sox and Royals are staying where they're at in four or five. Yes. Okay. All right. Can the Angels continue staying healthy and winning games? That's a big question. Do we have some injuries coming for the Angels? Do you think they continue to play the way they've been playing? Because right now they are 19 and 16, two games back on the Rangers. They need to keep doing that to retain Shoya Otani somehow. They got to make the playoffs. They have to make the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. Avoid the injuries. I will say this they will collapse like every single year. They starting hot at the beginning of the season and they collapse. So I predict they will collapse once again. All right, so with that, I mean, not really much more to talk about with baseball right now. There have been some really hot players. Um, there's also been some teams that are, like, ridiculously hot right now. Like we said, Boston, 
They oh, won yeah. how many straight? Eight, eight straight, games, and then yeah. they lost one recently. Um, Pirates are finally cooling down. They're they're they've lost seven in a row. Uh, Cardinals were on a losing streak before they won that. Uh, the longest winning streak as of right now, active in MLB, is the <laughs> Toronto Blue Jays with three. Okay. So, there goes that one. Uh, Cleveland Wills actually play against Detroit starting today. They got a three-game series. So, if you're a Cleveland fan, you're hoping for separation. If you're Two Cleveland, you're least. hoping the Tigers slow down a little bit. But yeah, the Tigers yeah. offense, they look oh like they're God. legit. And if Cleveland's offense... If Javier Baez continue what he's doing... Oh my god! And that's all after the incident where he had to get benched. You almost got his bench. You are uh, players need to remember, you are not that big. You are not that big. You can be a superstar caliber player, mm-hmm. get paid thousands and or millions and millions of dollars. You're not invincible. You will get benched if you are playing shitty. Let me ask you this, and this I know you don't like the Yankees too much. Go ahead. If you was the general manager of the Yankees. And Aaron Judge is coming back. Because there's no spot for Aaron Hicks right now if he comes back. After Bader came back for injury. Okay. Do you will DFA or not? With $30 million owed, owed to him at this moment. I mean, look at what the Diamondbacks did with Bumgarner. Do you will do a DFA for Aaron Hicks? I, I think you almost have to unless... I mean, that's up to you, though, too. Because Aaron Hicks has history at Yankee Stadium. You guys got Jake Bowers right now. He didn't do good in Cleveland. He got traded away. He didn't do good where he was at last time. Now he's with the Yankees. Yeah, right now, Judge is coming back, and Bader came back from injury, and then Bowers will take the spot in Cabrera. There's no spot for Aaron Hicks. Do you think will DFA will be the best option? Because Aaron Hicks is not doing nothing. I'm sorry. I mean, that could be your best option, or you could find somewhere where you find a salary dump, and then, like, for instance, I, I don't know. This is going to be a, a, a big question, and and I just, I'm, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen, but this is uh, annoying. Um, Brian Cashman did a horrible contract for Aaron Hicks. Seven years, $70 million. I think it was 2018, I think, when this happened. Correct. But, um... We'll see, but uh, I think Aaron Hicks will be DFA very soon. Um, any DFA on Cleveland? Do you think will be DFA? I, I the think. only one I can think of really well is probably maybe Zach Plesac, who just got sent down to AAA. Wow, he got sent down to AAA though. He is holding a forty-man roster spot, so maybe they could see him. You could potentially see Savali. I think those guys are more trade candidates. I do think a team like the Pirates might want a veteran guy oh, that yeah. can give him a year or two and maybe help. Even mm-hmm. though they're struggling, you know, a team that's just going to sell it in, that might be a team that, you know, takes him. I don't know. Those are the two candidates I can see getting DFA, though, is uh, Cleveland could DFA, Plesak, or Savali. You sign Josh Bell to a two-year deal. One of them, after this year, he has a player option opt-out. So, I don't think they're going to DFA him. Do you think um, about Chicago White Sox with the situation they are right now? Uh, I think this is the last year for Team Anderson, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken about. Uh, I believe so. So, excuse me. If you was Chicago White Sox, are yes. you going to rebuild mode at this moment and trade Tim Anderson for a contender? I don't think yet. I say give it till middle of June. I think the White Sox are eventually going to figure it out. They're going to try to bounce back. It's just a matter of how far away has Cleveland, Minnesota, or the Tigers pulled. Who's away. the candidate you think will take Tim Anderson if Tim Anderson is going to be traded? What team needs a shortstop right now? Probably Dodgers. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Definitely. Dodgers, yeah. Maybe. That's yeah. the only team that I can think of off the top of my head right now is the Dodgers. There's not or another the team. the Red Sox, if they get better. I think, no, I think they're just going to stick with it. Okay. I don't think Tim Anderson would be with the Red Sox. I don't think that's a good fit. Tim Anderson would be a good fit for the Dodgers, though. The Orioles need a shortstop or no? No. No. Okay. no not that I'm aware of. All right, so we're going to quickly move over here. We're going to be ending this podcast here in a few minutes. Uh, So we're going to quickly switch over to NBA. Uh, Jokic put his hands on the Suns owner. Watching the video, I don't know, and I'm not justifying by any means what Jokic did. It's not acceptable. But if that was not the owner of the Suns and he did that to Jokic, he's banned for life. Exactly. 
So I, I, you, and the owner did come out today and basically said, don't suspend him. Don't find him. That's the wrong thing to do. Tensions are high in the playoffs. I get that. Jokic should have never just went over there and tried to rip the ball away from him either. But just as a fan, the first thing you should be doing, and I understand you're the owner of the team, you're trying to help your player, give the ball to the referee, throw the ball away somewhere, Mm -hmm. then help your player. Exactly. If that's who you really are, if you're going to do that stuff. I I, I think I get it, the owners as a fan too, but why why you need to get involved? Also, why can we just can we just make it? I understand that they pay a lot of money and they own these teams. They should have a suite. They should not even be on the floor. Yeah, that's they what should I'm, have a suite. Exactly, not a floor seat. I just I don't know what you know. Like that's the same thing with the owner of the Golden State. Do you remember? Did we got some controversy too before? Yes. You know, um, well, it's like I, Mark Cuban always sits cl- yeah, cl- floor side too. too. I, it's just, and I'm just saying that. Uh, I, I hope he don't get suspended for this. He's not going to get suspended. He'll get a fine. What, a $50,000 He's probably going to get, I'd say, probably seventy five to 100000 Damn. That's just because it's an owner. Yeah. Just because it's crazy. an owner. That's crazy. Dictator because of the, he's an owner. It's like, happen, it's it like happens crazy. in the NFL, and it's going to happen now, too. So uh, it's going to be that way. It's unreal. Hey, well, by the way, the Phoenix did a good job. I was going to say, they, they're now, they won two in a row. And, and this is the thing. We said, what do we say? We said Phoenix, or we said Nuggets are going to win. I believe I we both nugget. said I seven or nuggets, six. I see six or seven. Yeah. I so. think you see, you saw, you said seven. I said six, I think. And it looks like it will be, if it continues with the trend of, hey, home team's going to win all the time, then I'm assuming it's going to be seven. I will be all, I will be awesome to see that, you know? Yeah. Uh, considering Miami lost Jimmy Butler, they still come out and they have a T1 lead. They play again tonight in uh, in Miami. Jimmy Butler will be there. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure on I his heard injury that he update. Will be there. There's did he a play chance. game three? He, did he play game three? Okay. I think so. Let me see here. Jimmy Butler. I'm not sure if he played game three. No. No, he did, and he dropped 28 points. Uh, this might be five for Miami at this rate. Uh, it's uh, maybe six because I do think Knicks are gonna win one more at their their we'll stadium, see. but Lakers take a two one lead over the Warriors. How you feeling about that one? Lakers if they win today, this this series is over. Do they play it's today? Six. Yeah, they do. Ten o'clock. Yeah, if they win today, it's over. It's over. I, I have to agree with that. If they win today, it's over. And then of course last night's game could not have been any better. Uh, or yesterday's game, excuse oh my me. God, good. Sixers Harden. and Sixers and uh, Celtics. That should have been an Easter Conference final matchup. I hope the NBA looks at it and does like a seating like the NFL. Like, hey, right now it should have been Celtics versus Heat and Knicks versus Sixers. That's how it should be. The tougher the teams that won the higher seeds should have the easier opponents. Mm-hmm. The teams that have the lower seeds should have the tougher opponents. You got to fight your way through it. Yeah, that's how it should be. I don't know why the NBA didn't adapt that. I mean, the Nuggets and Suns are facing each other when in reality it should be Lakers and Nuggets and Suns and Warriors. By the way, those the are matchups I want to see. Harden in the overtime. Absolutely filthy. <laughs> he he. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what's in the Gatorade. Somebody Marcus might want to test it, but that's that's just ridiculous. I mean, yeah. he's he's going nuts. He's like the 2016 Rockets again. So so who have the advantage now? Still Celtics. Still. Home court. So Celtics still have home court, yes. Because okay. they go back uh, tomorrow to play in Boston. And then the Nuggets go back tomorrow to play in Denver. Okay. And then tonight, uh, Lakers will do their last home game, and Miami will do their last home game. And then they'll go back to Warriors, and then they'll go back to the Knicks. So It's a good playoff so far, do you think? It is. It's very entertaining. Um, I don't think that there's really been – there's only, like, one or two games that were, like, a complete blowout so far. And that was Lakers, Lakers Warriors, Golden like, State. I think game two or game three. Golden State blow out the Lakers in game two. Yeah. And then uh, you have the – What's the Celtics do, I guess, the Sixers one time? No, they didn't blow them out, but Miami blew out the Knicks. Oh, yeah. And then game one. 85 points Knicks scored, something like that. Yeah. And I think Miami, I don't even know what Miami had that game, but it was, it was just ridiculous. I want to see Stephen A. Smith's face Yeah, about the Knicks. Because he took so. a lot of crap when they beat Cleveland, you know? 
Well, it's gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna make a, they're gonna make a video. You know, he's gonna have a video out there one way or another. He's gonna be crying, or he's gonna right. be like, I don't want to talk about it. This is ridiculous. He's gonna be calling for Dolan's name to be gone. He wants, yeah. you know, he wants James Dolan gone. And Cleveland and fans Spike know the will Dolan. Be upset too. He's gonna be willing to buy the team at this point. Oh, go ahead, Stephen Eight. It's just crazy. Uh, but we got NBA still going. We got some. Uh, NFL is getting ready to be kicking off here in the next few months. So we'll be preparing for that here. Uh, not going to be giving you too much insight because uh, I got to watch what I say to you for fantasy football time. <laughs> that's that's for sure. But NBA is kicking off. We're it's still going strong. Uh, it's going to be regardless of what happens. If you get Heat Celtics, Heat Sixers, Knicks, it's going to be a great matchup in the East. The West, you can't go wrong either. <sighs> the West, the West I is want probably Phoenix versus Lakers. In the Western Conference Finals. Well, you picked the Warriors, so how's that? I know work? I picked the Warriors. Yeah. I know I picked the Warriors, but right now, you don't want to see something like that. Kevin Durant versus LeBron. I want to see Kevin Durant versus the Warriors since he went to them and tried to win. Mm, that would be the easy way too, because you got Curry. Well, either way, you know whatever. It's interesting anyway. It's uh, you can't conference. lose. I don't think basketball fans can lose right now. They got a good they got a good basketball all the way. But anything else you want to add today? No. Um... Happy to see all these stats about the NBA, and I hope my team, the Yankees, come back, you know. Yeah. yeah a, a good team, but we'll see. And the Indians as well. For uh, for the Lord of, for the good Lord of baseball, please let the Cardinals start doing good. <laughs> that team is no business being this bad right now. Arenado, request a trade. No. Not, uh, yeah. Arenado. It's it's not worth it. It won't be Arenado. It'll be Goldie because he just hit three home runs last night. Arenado, we need a third baseman. <laughs> Yankee fans and all they want is every they want every superstar to act like they just, got the, just, just bring in the Brinks truck. <laughs> Why do we even have Banks? They all live in New York. Go for uh, it. But all right, well we're gonna head out here. That was a good episode. So other than that, you guys take care. You guys take care. Follow us on Twitter. Absolutely. I'll drop the link real quick and then uh, go ahead and do that. We'd appreciate it. And like and subscribe on our Twitter, on our YouTube. We'd greatly appreciate that as well. Other than that, have a good one. You guys have a wonderful week.